Hi, Professor Dan. Happy to have you along for the debut of our online travel show. This is my student, Andrew Opila, and our job is to bring to you the travel experience of 17 Gonzaga students as we take a month going all over Turkey. What's coming up on show number one? You know what, Dan? It's all about the city we just left, Istanbul. And what we want to do in this show is give you guys a brief history about why Istanbul was and probably is one of the most geographically important locations in the world. On top of that, I like food, you probably like food, Dan likes food. We want to give you guys a sneak peek of some amazing Turkish cuisine coming up. And also, we've met some amazing Turks. The hospitality here is amazing, but we want to show them the most inspirational Turk that we have met so far. The host of the program is a Turk as well, and he's a Zag. Aydin Agün got his master's degree in religious studies at Gonzaga University, probably the perfect guy to help guide us through our travel. So without any further ado, show number one of the Turkish Zag Travel Show. Dear friends, welcome to Istanbul. From 4th century AD all the way to the 16th century AD, whoever controlled Constantinople or Istanbul controlled the world. A huge peninsula stretching from Asia towards Europe and making a bottleneck in Istanbul. And so all the transportation, all the traffic had to steal have to pass through Istanbul. The ideas, the people, the business, the money. So, and that's Istanbul. That's the bottleneck between two continents. And still, Istanbul benefits from that geostrategic location. All the great names that we know in the later Roman history and beginning with Constantine the Great. Actually, we, let, we can start from Septimus Severus, late second century AD, destroying the city and immediately recognizing the geostrategic importance of this place and founding again. And then 130 years later, Constantine the Great is coming and moving the capital city from Rome to Byzantium, the former name of the city, and creating a new empire with new ideology on this location. And what he literally does is to take grain from everywhere else across the empire. He makes Constantinople the heart and soul of the empire. Many nations, including the United States, uh, have been involved in these kind of imperialistic ventures. It's good to think about how these structures work because also they're complex systems. Uh, they're multi-ethnic systems, they cover vast territories. Um, it, it's very good in this um, global economy that we have, um, to acknowledge other cultures, how they interact with each other, how they dominate each other. Uh, I think these are all very good questions for students of the 21st century to, to be thinking about. Uh, uh, yeah. They are on vacation because, well, part of what we want to do is, of course, have them learn about a new country, meet people, uh, get a sense of the geography, the food, the culture. So in, a, in that sense, you know, that is part of the trip and, and it certainly is vacation-like. Uh, on the other hand, um, we're here to learn. We're here to learn about other cultures. We're here to learn about the ancient world and modern Turkey. And I think that um, you know, we view this as an academic endeavor in the sense that um, we want them to really think about what they're seeing, to analyze what they're seeing. Constantine had wanted to name the city New Rome, but people weren't really that interested in the name. But the idea still stuck that this was a premier city. And so the two obelisks, that's actually something that's unique. There were many hippodromes around the Roman Empire, but only the Circus Maximus in Rome had two obelisks. So once um, this hippodrome, which is a more modern one, it's newer than some of the others. Once they had two obelisks, it was kind of like saying, we're taking your place, now we're a big deal, Rome. You're not as big of a deal. The idea behind this particular program is to have the students focus in on a single topic, really research it in depth, in which they have to write a 10 to 15 page research paper on, so they really know it. When Lauren was speaking about the Hippodrome, she knew how the races were formed. She knew the area. She knew exactly where the monuments were. Um, and 
I think she really enjoyed having the opportunity to speak in front of her fellow students because she's the authority. She knows this stuff and each of them will have that opportunity to share what they learned in depth with the students. Folks, I hope you have got a sense for Kabuki market area. So this is your place for the next one and a half hour. All the ideas come here, come together in this location and acculturate each other. Sometimes it becomes conflict, sometimes it can be understanding, sometimes distancing, but we have to process all of them and we have to create the peace process after all. But we have to process and this is the place that we have to do it constantly because of the proximity. Once they visit Turkey and Istanbul, this city will stay with them forever.